speak. God bless you, Pastor Brown. Yes, Lord. Give honor to God, to the Holy Spirit that's in this place. Yes, Lord, it's here. It's all over here. Amen. To the Son of God, Jesus. Yes. Amen. To all my brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. Good morning. God is good. Yes, all the time, all the time. I've been definitely touched this morning. Oh, yes. Tr Trouble's in my way. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cry sometimes. Yes. You know, weeping will endure for a night. Yes. Oh, joy. Good morning. That, that, that Jesus joy. Yes, sir. Come in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to. Before I get started, I'm going to let y'all know I'm coming out of the book of Luke. Okay. Luke was the first church historian. A little information. He was uh, the only author in the New Testament that was a Gentile. All right. And was the author of Luke and Acts. Paul referred to Luke as the beloved physician. Luke and Acts is longer than all of Paul's epistles okay. combined together for the church. Paul lists Luke separately from the Jewish Christian. Mm -hmm. So that lets us know that he was a Gentile. Yeah. That was your And Luke, well, we were Gentiles. And Jesus grafted us in mm -hmm. into, the, into that into that covenant of Abraham. Yeah. Jesus, just like the just like the grower, just like the farmer, graft plants. I watched my granddad graft stuff. Mm -hmm. Jesus grafted us. So he's our source. Yeah. We don't come out of uh, Luke chapter ten. We know this is uh this is Jesus. And he's teaching and he's preaching. Luke chapter 10, we're going to begin at that verse 25. Luke 10, 25. You say it? Say it. If you see it, say amen. Amen. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him. Saying, Master, what should I do to inherit eternal life? You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. We're going we're gonna to title this one, Who is my name? Come on, come on now. Who is my name? My name. Come on now. Who is my neighbor? My neighbor. Who is my neighbor? When my wife was sick, she talked me into buying a house across the street from where we live. And for years, we watched our neighbors live there. The mother, the father, they died. The brothers and sisters, their sons and daughters moved away. They moved to Richmond, Pearland, different places. They left Houston. And um, no one wanted the house. So one of the daughters stayed there. She passed on. The house was just standing there. My wife looking at the house. She got sick. She said, when you buy that house, I prayed to the Lord. And I went in that room and I told her, when you leave in the hospital, I'll buy that house. Okay. okay. So she still had stuff hooked up to her. I went and bought that house. Wow. In Sugar Land, she was outside, 32 degrees. Well, I'm not really talking about how the storm came through yesterday. Okay, okay. It flooded a little bit. The street had a lot of mud in it. The gutter was kind of so that the water rolled. This lady, about 70 plus, went outside with a pink in a hole or what? And she was clearing the drain. My wife, I was at work, my wife told me about it. And I'm like, the neighbor get the lady? She's like, 
It was like maybe a couple hundred yards of stuff she dug out, but they cleared the water off the street. Amen. I'm like, that's a good neighbor. So yes, what I did, God. me and my wife, we went out and got these five gallon buckets and we filled up with the mud and tore it up, took it up to higher land because it was just going to wash back to the street. My whole point is, when we look and we be God, we see our neighbor. Our neighbor might be in trouble, but we can tell them a scripture. We can give them something, a sign to show that we in our own here. That we come and we serve a, a God living God. And when this, when I looked at this verse, it said, a, and, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up. That means many, this is the young lawyer, and tempted him. He wanted to cross Jesus up with a question. <laughs> but we, we know people do that in life. Yeah. And so he said unto him, what is written in the law? Jesus went right back to the law. We know the law was given so that it can correct, well, it can show, it can show. Because when Moses was on the mountain and God gave him the commandments, it was sinners down there below the mountain. And they were sinning. And so the law is just like when you when you take your car, you get you get the front end alignment, it, it shows that you are, you think you're right, but it, it, it needs some correction. So the law points out sin. Yeah. When you're building a house and you think your eyes see that wall is being straight, but it's kind of torqued this way, you need some device to show you that you need some correction. Yeah. That's what the law does. The law points out correction. It come on, Dad. Come sin. on. Come on. So Jesus said, What is written in the law? Yeah. How read is that? And he answered and said, Thou shalt love thy Lord, thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind. And thou neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. See, Jesus you're going to tempt God. That's, that Jesus answered him in the law of the land. He knew that the young lawyer was trying to cross him up. So he answered the way that he politically corrected him. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my name? So not only did he try to set Jesus up the first time, then he, then see, the, the, when Jesus answered him, he should have said, have mercy on me. The first, the first question, he should have said, have mercy on me. And give me rest in your kingdom. Basically, we, we are, we, we, they, they at this time was uh, under a uh, deliverance law. They was being delivered to the promised land. We are under we are under the dispensation of grace. So it's, it's a little different. But they was under the dispensation of deliverance because they was out in the wilderness and the law was written to get to show them about themselves. To get them corrected. So that they would need a savior. They would have to have Jesus come. So here we are. Who is my name? And Jesus answering and said, a certain man went down from, Jer from Jerusalem to Jericho. Now, the reason why he said went down to Jerusalem is high. Mountain. You have to go up. And on the Passover during, um, when they went up to praise God, it was the, the uh, capital. Of, of, pray, of prayer, it was, it was where you go to talk to God. He went from, the Jeru to, from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his remnant and wounded him 
and departed, leaving him half yeah. 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 And by chance, there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, Jew, Jew, Jews hated Samaritan. They despised them. They would take the pig before they take the Samaritan. They didn't like they didn't like swine. So they despised Samaritan. As he journeyed, came when came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, my Lord. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of, the, of these three think thou as was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? So Jesus said, which one was the man? Now the young lawyer answered and said, he that showed mercy on him. And Jesus said unto him, go and do that likewise. Isn't God good? All the time. He, in the midst of him trying to trip Jesus, Jesus still brought a parable yeah, right. that applied to him yeah, right. and he was talking to him yeah, right. because Jesus yeah. said you ain't living right. Oh, wow. If you look below the lesson, if you study what this meant, like as far as yeah. the Bible comes here, yeah. Jesus said, I'm talking to you. Yeah, right. You right. ain't living right. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't doing right yeah. Yeah. by the law that you grew up in. Yeah. This, this Jewish, young Jewish lawyer, they recited the law. Went from baby all the way up, they knew certain verses of the law. Yeah. And he's gonna come, he gonna try to trap Jesus, yeah. and Jesus turned it all the way back around, back on him. God is good yes, yeah. all the time. Yeah. What we have to do is take what he's given us right. and don't keep it to us right. and share it with someone else. All right. And that God will get the glory yeah. in our efforts. Yeah. Come on, Dad. He will get the glory. And Jesus, not only when he was talking to the to the, the young lawyer, uh -huh. he was also in the book. Um, the scriptures, you shall love the Lord with all your, your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Deuteronomy 6, 5. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's Leviticus 19, 18. So Jesus was in the word. Yes, he was. As he was answering. Yeah. As so, so we should be. We should stay in the word. The word will deliver us from whatever dilemma that we might be in. But we, these people, the law, the law was was a writ so that it would point out the sin that the people were doing. That it would show them that they are not right. Then they would repent and then they have to go and give the sacrifices and sacrifices. But then God had a bigger plan. Yeah. God had a major plan. God had a plan for all of us. Y'all yeah, remember God talking to Abraham? Y'all right. remember what he said to Sarah? Y'all yeah. remember that God never go back on his word. And as we continue to look for our neighbors, as we continue to look to our neighbors, right. there is no way, humanly possible, that you can walk in a room and somebody is talking about you 
without the presence of God to love them. Come on, man. There's no way no you way. you in the carnal man or the carnal woman that you living in this flesh yeah. will be able to treat somebody lovely Come and on, nice Come when on. they are totally despising Come you, on, talking about yeah. you, and when they when you turn around, they will get you in your back. There's no way. But when you call on the name of Jesus, when you call on the name of God, He will deliver you and He will take you from that from that fleshly mindset. He will take you from that carnal mindset. He will take you and He will deliver you. And when you spend more time with Him, you will be able to recognize your neighbor. You would be able to see your neighbor. Oh, You'll be God. able to give them good things. Yeah. Oh, You'll be yeah. able to do yeah. that, like that parable that Jesus, like the Samaritan, did. Put them up in the end. Right. You'll be able to do those type of things because you won't be in a fleshly mindset. On, You'll be in a spiritual mindset. Yes, and when yes, you God. when you get into the spiritual mindset, it'd be like the mother's love for a daughter. Oh, it'd be like the mother's love for the son. Yeah. It'll be like a godly love for his children right. and you will see everything as good yes. and when you see something negative you will turn it to positive just like Jesus did to the young just like Jesus replied to the young lawyer yeah. you'll be able to be able to okay. take things and be able to make the make the brightness come out of the work and yeah. you yeah. won't be looking for the glory yeah. you'll be looking You'll be looking to glorify God. Oh, yeah. And when you look to glorify God with, with intentions to do so, when, when, when everything you do, you don't do for self, oh. you take self out, yeah. you put God in, yeah. he will bless you. And in your efforts, he will deliver you. Yeah. And when he delivers you, he'll have mercy on you. Yeah. And through his grace, he'll give you strength. Right. And you'll be able to pass it on to yeah. somebody else. Right. And you will go through something and be able to tell somebody, no, on just wait now. on the Lord. Yeah. On just now. wait on the Lord. On because in your efforts, have you tried Jesus? Yeah. You called on everybody. Oh, you God. called on Big Mama. Yeah. You called on Papa. Yeah. You called on Big Bo. Yeah. You called on your brothers. Yeah. You called on your sisters. Yeah. You called on the homies. You called on everybody. You called on your, your aunties. You called on your uncles. You called on everybody. You even get a whole lot of money from your job. You got a whole lot of money in the bank. The IRS is taking it right now. But you done tried everything. And they don't respond to you and say, I have tried everything. You haven't tried Jesus. Try Jesus. Yeah. Put Jesus yes, in your life. Yeah. And then you're going to have to ask, who is my neighbor? Because yeah. you're going to already know yeah. who is your neighbor. Yeah. You're going to already know that everything that's created by God, yeah. God made it good. Yeah. Yes. Even if they don't accept him okay. as their God, yeah. he's given us work to yeah. do. Yeah. And he's given us work to be able to be able to deliver a message from the good Lord. We thank God for Jesus. Because we realize that we're not here on our own. We're sent to be able to shed a little light. Just like the traveler, we just traveling through this very land. The prayer of faith yes, shall save the sick. Yes, the fervent prayer of the righteous yes, avail the much. Yes, we just got to continue yes, to pray to God yes, for strength. Yes, to be able yes, to withstand people. Yes, to be able yes, to forbear people. Yes, to be able yes, to turn the other cheek. Yes, but if you touch me, yes, I can't die. Now. You know what? Uh, I'm going to call on God because yeah. as you walk with him, yeah. you're going to learn patience. Yeah. You just can't get patient. Yeah. Your mama can't give you patience. Yeah. Your daddy yeah. can't tell you about patience. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go through something. Yeah. And when you go through it, Please. Please. God is going to teach you. And you 
not going to teach you like a teacher. Sometimes he's going to put you in something. Yes, yes. That's the type of teacher yes, I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Sometimes he's going to put you out of something. Yes, That's the type of teacher I'm talking yes, about. Yes. So you're going to have more yes. confidence yes. in God yes. and less confidence in yourself. Yes. And when you look around and you see your whereabouts, uh -huh. you go, God, deliver me from that. God delivered me from them. God delivered me from this. God brought me from that job. But I didn't lose my mind at that job because I don't give me my mind for the next job. God is good all the time. His mercy is everlasting. It's everlasting to everlasting. Keep your faith in God. Man will give you something today and take it back today. Thankful to God. Yeah. Just because he's wearing a white coat yeah. don't mean he's a doctor. Yeah. The doctor is in Jesus. Yeah. Just because he's wearing a black robe yeah. don't mean he's a judge. Yeah. God is the judge. Yeah. Just because he's wearing a suit and tie yeah. and he talk proper and use uh -huh. those long words on, and his name might be Connor Beckett. Yeah. Just because yeah. his name, his, his fancy title means uh -huh. something, Jesus is your Lord. Yeah. Nothing is above the Lord. Yes, sir. Even though they said vaccine, vaccination. Come on, now. If you don't, AFLAC is good. Okay. Insurance is great. Uh -huh. October is when you open up your, your medical stuff. Okay. But you don't open up no medical insurance. You don't open up no AFLAC without having the assurance from All right. God. All right. God gives you the assurance yeah. that will make everything work. He assured us that he would never leave us. No, I think that's yes, yes, Because one Friday, speak, 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 speak. one Friday, yes, sir. he died. Yeah. But before he died, he uh, stepped out of eternity, yeah. put on flesh, yeah. walked 33 and a half years yeah. on these shores. Yeah. He told me, yeah. stay with me yeah. for one hour. Uh -huh. I'm going to walk into this garden of Gethsemane to pray. Yeah. He prayed for yeah. one hour. Yeah. He was praying so hard. Sweat was coming down his face yeah. like drips of blood. Yeah. He said, Father, if it's thy will, thy will be done. Yeah. He knew at that moment that he was going to die. Yeah. He stepped on out from praying. All the disciples were asleep. They were asleep. Yeah. They couldn't be awake for one hour. Yeah. Obedience it's better than yes, sacrifice. Yes, yes. God, be the glory yes. for Jesus. Yes. We thank you, God. Yes. He walked these shores. Yes. He hung his head yes. on the line and said, Father, yes. it's finished. Yes. They said, the Samaritan said, this is the Son of God. Yes. God is good yes. all the time. They lift him high. Jesus left on record. If I be lifted up, I draw all men yeah. unto me. Yeah. He died. Yes, he did. Then he died. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Yes, he died. Yeah. They put him in a bomb tomb. Yeah. They put a rock yeah. in front of the rock. Yeah. They put a rock behind the rock. Yeah. They put a rock on top of the rock. Right. But they didn't know the rock was in the tomb. So Jesus came out. He told Mary, tell the disciples. And Peter yeah. to meet me in Galilee. Yeah. God is good. Yeah. And even on the third day, he rose yeah. with all power. Yeah. This is resource power. Yeah. This is all power. Yeah. With heaven and earth, yeah. that's a resource power. Yeah. But if we keep on continuing yeah. to be children of God, yeah. we can get the power from the source. Yeah. And we'll be a resource yeah. for him. Yeah. And we'll be able to tell somebody. That Jesus give us the love Amen. that I can love you despite of you. I can love you despite of you. But don't touch me. Don't, touch me. don't you touch me. God is good all the time. And he'll be able to correct what's incorrect in our life. Let's continue to work for God. God bless you. Amen.